What's awesome about the 125 here is it has no clutch. So if you're a beginner motorcyclist, this is a great little bike to learn how to ride. Four speed transmission, top speed run, one hand is here. All right, here we go. 2022 Honda Trail 125 adventure build. Little mini enduro test ride. So what's really cool about this bike is it'll go anywhere. It's so nimble. And to turn around a big like 1250 BMW right now or KTM would be really hard. This thing weighs 250 pounds. That's why it's so fun. Doesn't have the low range like the old ones, but we can still go up pretty steep hills with the one in front of us there. All right, you can probably hear it's really windy. Sorry about that, but this is going to be your top speed run on a 2022 Honda 125. Fifty-three. Oh, yeah, dude. Twenty twenty two Honda Trail one twenty five little Mad Max mini adventure build here. If you want to know about the one twenty five, check out the first video. I give a pretty good rundown of this bike. But twenty twenty two Honda Trail one twenty five, go through the whole build process here. Little bear claw on there. It's pretty rad. But this bike really hard to get. If you're lucky enough to get one of these, you're probably going to pay around six grand if you can find one. Supposedly, the weight list in Bozeman is 25 at the Honda dealer. I don't know if I buy that, but that's what they told me. Um, what do we do with this bike? Um, start from back to front here. That was fire engine red, really ugly. Painted that black, looks bad to the bone. You got your heat shields painted as well, black. 
and the factory crash bars. Those are all painted by Mars in Billings, Montana, up north where I live. The crash bars added on here as well. And the OEM skid plate, I rattle canned that. And you can see a bunch of scratches that I've touched up on the kickstands there. If I were to continue to own this bike, I would just take the skid plate off once a year, rattle can it, and do the same thing to the kickstands there. Front of the bike here, you got your Moto Skill center rack there with the skull and crossbone kind of look. On the dashboard here, we did put in a dual 3.0 USB port with an on off switch. You can charge a GoPro or phone, both while you're driving. There is your Moto Lords windscreen from the driver's perspective. Front rack, bad, love it, CT125. There's your windscreen from the front. And your Enduro, Golden Boy. Shinko, Golden Boy, original. Tires, they were on the 1964 Honda 90. Fog lights, those are specific to this bike, wired into the headlight. So they go on and off with the headlights. Here is your switch which I need to get zip tied down. It's probably the last thing I need to do to the bike. There is your on off switch. Start the bike up here. There you go. All right, it's out of gear, neutral, ABS light goes away. There's your bright light indicator, fog lights, that light does light up. Very bright on those fog lights. Excellent for motorcycle safety. Making our way to the back of the bike here is the coolest part of this bike. Honda didn't put the spare gas tank on these like they did the old ones, but this is off a 1986 Honda 110 that I got from a really successful rancher in Montana. I'm gonna rebuild that this summer and I have a couple extra spare gas tanks. So I'm gonna use those. It's in really tip top shape. You can see the original decal. That is the original cap all the original rubber and hardware there and there is the mount and then the mount to the bike that is from a ebay person from japan and everyone can't figure out how to mount the toolkit and the old school spare gas tank well there's how you do it you get a couple bolt extenders that are bigger than the bolt you use, slide the bolt through it, slide it through the OEM toolkit and mount it on the bike where the toolkit mounts originally. What's awesome about these, you can see it says helmet holder. What you do is put it right through there and that's how you keep your helmet from getting stolen in a big city or at least needing a knife. 2022 Honda Trail 125 10 part series all on YouTube and I'll go over everything just one more time start to finish change the color scheme there's five different color grays just really annoyed me so painted that 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 and that black added the aftermarket crash bars the center rack with the skull and crossbones moto skill dual port USB, Moto Lords windscreen, CT125 front rack, Enduro, Golden Boy tires front and back, headlights that are wired in to the OEM hardware, 
painted the factory skid plate and added the mint condition OEM never used 1986 gas tank. There's the original cap. I did add a new OEM Honda gasket. And if you smell inside there, it smells like oil or pre-lube, not gasoline. Gas has never been in that tank. So if you live in California, you can put that on your bike. Because it is a uh, cosmetic item. It's not actually functional.